Mayor Brandon Johnson attributes Chicago's challenges to the enduring effects of white supremacy and the policies of previous administrations. Yet, one must wonder, is he addressing his own identity and the city's issues head on? Now look, white supremacy is real, y'all. Say, say that. I'm going to say that one more time. Say that. Because in case the city of Chicago don't know, you got a black mayor. Say that. With a black wife, black children on the west side of Chicago. And all of these other administrations that shut down our schools, that shut down public housing, that raided the pensions, that sold off the parking meter, that sold off the Skyway, those people ran this city to the ground, and now they expect a brother to fix it in a year. Say it. Well, guess what? We're off to a great start, and I look forward to fixing they mess, building up our community for the next 23 freaking years. God bless you, Chicago. Southside. Personal responsibilities and duties. It appears that Brandon Johnson is deflecting criticism rather than accepting accountability for the current situation. Dwelling on historical injustices can obscure the pressing need for practical solutions. Limited government and efficient resource management are crucial. While Brandon Johnson's critique of past administration's decisions to sell public assets might resonate with those who advocate for prudent financial management, a closer examination reveals that the Democratic Party has seen a rise in personal wealth for many of its members. The conservative view that emphasizes meritocracy and individual effort seems at odds with Johnson's focus on race. What the public truly seeks are solutions grounded in competence and efficiency, not identity politics. Safety and order are paramount to the people of Chicago. There is a concern that Johnson's emphasis on systemic issues might significantly impede the resolution of the city's urgent crime and safety problems. Effective leadership, according to the public, means directly addressing crime and ensuring the safety of the community.